and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. Others, like the jackfruit, fluted pumpkins, and dragon fruit growing here, represent the vast number of lesser known tropical plants. As we learn more about these crops, we discover that many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. For instance, the fluted pumpkin thrives in the worst soil conditions of Africa. With its edible seeds and leaves, the pumpkin could become an important staple for areas where other crops don't grow easily. The unique looking dragon fruit is actually a member of the cactus family. The fruits are high in vitamin C, rich in antioxidants, and have a light and sweet taste. The fruit originated in Mexico or Central America, but is already becoming popular in Asia. It could become a source of important nutrients for people living in many areas of the world. These and many other lesser known crops may one day be as popular as the bananas growing on both sides of the book. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. <laughs> using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. We're growing these nutritious sweet potatoes above ground. This method increases yields, produces larger potatoes, and can be used where rich soil is in short supply. We're growing lettuce using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Well, 
Nice clean garden. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Here's something you don't see every day. Tomatoes growing on trees. These plants were originally developed by Chinese scientists. Tomato trees live longer and produce many more tomatoes. One of ours lived 16 months and produced over 32,000 fruits. Much of the produce you see growing in our greenhouses is served in the restaurants here at the land. The future of agriculture includes some high-flying ideas like the ones you see here. The aquaponics system on your left integrates hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a source of natural fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less resources. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants.